So it's a pretty good episode. Yeah, it was. It seems to be getting better, but as well, it, it was another short episode. Yeah. Mm. But it is it is moving forward, um, and we can see what you know that Thrawn's plans are you know coming into place. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Getting... Since there's only one episode left. Hmm. And, also... and yeah, his his main aim is to obviously lead that galaxy and get back um, to their galaxy. So yeah, interesting. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, great to see yeah Ahsoka um, getting there and you know reuniting <laughs> everyone being reunited. Mm. Yeah, so now at least they're all back together. Mm. Mm. Sabine and all that. Yeah, Yeah, Ahsoka, Ezra, and Sabine back together. Ezra, Ezra. Yeah, Ezra. Several name drops as well. Yeah, Mm -hmm. and of course, yeah, at the Harris, um, you know, hearing in front of the Senate that, you know, she mentions, well, C3PO comes in and mentions Leia. Yeah, Leia. So we've got the uh, you know interesting appearance by C three PO. Yeah, C three PO. Yep. Yeah. Good old three PO. Yeah, good old C three PO. Just uh, rescued her from getting court martialed. <laughs> <laughs> yep, but unfortunately no R two D two. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Would have liked to see R two D two. Well, we did get Chopper. Yes, Chopper was there. <laughs> yeah, we just see. C-T-P. Yeah. But overall, yeah, a lot of action this episode. It's like it goes from one to the other. It's like mm. it's considering this is probably one of the better episodes again, they keep seem to be stepping it up each time. Mm. Yeah, they're mm. ramping up it was, the action. Yeah, it was a uh, very very um uh fast part uh fast fast mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, um, mm. very uh, consistent with uh, Mage Ace thing. Mm. Yep. So, yeah, it goes from like the space battle to the ground battle. Like, mm. wow. So much. Yeah. There's a lot. Yeah. You've got the space battle with the, with the whales as well, involving the whales. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. The 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 Imperial Jeez. minefield. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They went through and then later on, of course, you've got the fight with um Yeah. You know, Thorn uh, on so, yeah. and Shinati and Balin. the ghost troopers. Yeah. Oh that's yeah. Balin, is it? Yeah. Then. then you had Balin with Ahsoka again rematch. Oh yeah. <laughs> Balin well. Ahsoka rematch. Yeah. <laughs> Balin is strong. Yeah. Well, he is a Jedi, so... <laughs> oh, he's a Jedi, Balin. Yeah, yeah he, he was a former. Jedi, yeah. He, he was Jedi. a former Jedi, yeah. Oh, so wow. I, I expect, you know, him to have that skill level for sure. I see, um, I see. Mm. So with the Jedi, they don't have to practice, right? Because I saw Ezra has a lot of walls. Yeah, Ezra is a Jedi. Ezra is a Jedi too. And he is really strong. He has, you know, the, the Force mm. quite strong, I would say. Yeah, he's yeah, one he's... of the strongest force users. You know, one of the top Jedi's. I think. Yeah. Yep, and he didn't need to use a lightsaber. <laughs> he didn't even need a saber against Jin. Yeah, that was a <laughs> funny. That was a funny scene. <laughs> he was saying, yeah. "Take yeah, your lightsaber, lightsaber back. It's yours. <laughs> no, it's yours now. You made your own modification to so it." Like, yeah. No, there, again, it's yours that, now. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Just there, like, they remind me of um, the Mandalorian. Hmm. Mandalorian, hmm. and it was really funny that, that uh, with the, that... with the uh, with the uh, dark the hmm. dark sword or whatever it was the yeah. dark saber. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, considering Sabine is an uh, is a Mandalorian. 
But what's yeah. funny is that he was surprised Asuka took her on as an apprentice. She, he was like, why? <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Um, so she does have force ability, just not that strong. Because it's not, you know, a normal thing to take on an apprentice that isn't a very strong force user mm. or doesn't have the strong, you know, a strong force. Oh. Uh, most apprentices that are taken on, they're taken on because they're strong yeah. with the force. Because yeah, they see that potential. Oh. So if someone doesn't have it, why would you take them on as an apprentice? You know, is, oh. is what sort of Ezra was thinking. Well, she, oh. she does have it and she had trained with with the previous master before, she did train with uh, uh, what was his name again? Kanan? Oh, yeah, Kanan Jarrus. That's it. Yeah. She, she trained with Kanan Jarrus with yeah. the dark saber. Yeah. Yeah. Th through through to every single last file, mm -hmm. as as she said. Yeah. yeah. So, and we don't know um how, we don't know how many times she went over yeah. um the files repeatedly. Yeah. Mm. Though she still isn't that strong yet with, with the force. She still kind of struggles with that. Whereas with Ezra, you can see how easy it is for him. Um Just, you know, um he has a lot of strength. Ahsoka is still trying not, not so strong yet, yeah. Yeah, he, she's not. Oh, no, no, Ahsoka is strong with the no, force. Ahsoka is probably one of the be best ones. Now. Yeah, so she and Ezra are strong with the force, but um, the bean is not. The bean is the, I would the say, uh, yeah. she's the weakest of all of oh. the yeah, force. The weakest of any force user, apparently. <laughs> yeah, it's a bean, yeah. Even Hu Yang was saying she's like the worst. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. <laughs> of all Technically the worst. <laughs> the worst. Still learning, I was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Sabine. But so we, she, we do yeah. know that she has some ability. She was able to try to force push the Shin Hati before, but failed. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. It doesn't seem like she tried to do that at all this time, but after Ezra pushed back some of those troopers, she ended up just doing her Mandalorian thing. With, yeah, with, yeah, she with just the had the little, the little hidden bastard. <laughs> yeah. Somehow I think that's a lot better and cooler than the force push. Yeah. Mm. yeah it, it definitely works better for her anyway. <laughs> yeah, it works for her. And plus, she doesn't have to bother like dodging or deflecting bullets so much because she has the best car armor. Mm. Just have to avoid her face. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I think they left the left her helmet on that planet. Yeah, she didn't, didn't bring it along with them. Taken her helmet with her. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Ashoka has the helmet, right? Uh, uh, they they it's... picked up the helmet on the planet. So I think Hu Yang had it, but I think they brought it to the battlefield. No, maybe, that wouldn't maybe it's on the ship. <laughs> No, I don't think so. Well, yeah, no, the, they... la yeah, the last time we saw the helmet, Tu Yang was holding it. Yeah. So it might oh, actually yeah, be on the ship. Right. Yeah. yeah, it must have been left behind some, somewhere in the ship. Right. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it's really, yeah, really good, good solid, solid episode, I think, um, seeing that. And then seeing just how Thrawn... <laughs> strategizes and how he thinks so you know it's interesting to see that um that he is really quite strategic and you know he does it he never acts impulsively um he always really thinks things through and tries to be one step ahead you know yeah, um, yeah. well the strategist he thought he is mm. Uh, so yeah, let's see if there are any Easter screen egg. rant Easter oh, okay. eggs. Yeah. I mean we definitely have the Leia Organa uh mentioned. Drop, yeah. We've got C3PO showing up. Um 
Who's Lady uh, Gargana? Where, where was she from? The um, original trilogy. Uh, this looks. Uh, uh, well, she's the daughter of Anakin. <laughs> Remember? Yeah. Oh, oh, you, oh, you mean Princess? Oh, yeah, you mean Princess, Princess Leia. Leia. Princess Leia. Yeah. Oh, that was Princess, Princess Leia. Leia. Oh, Princess Leia. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Her, her her name is Leia Organa because oh. she was adopted by Bill Organa. Oh, I see. Yeah. But it's a different character because the original died. The the who played Carrie Fisher is not here, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but yeah that, that's why it was a name drop. They can't bring her in. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they can't bring her yeah. in unless they hire a, like a younger. Well, she's meant to be younger mm. here anyway, so it'll oh. be a younger actress. Yeah. I see, I see. Yeah. Well, they did get a younger actress for the Obi Wan show, but that's a lot younger. Oh, that's Leia, yeah. <laughs> and in Rogue One, they had like um. Like this the deep fake a, one a that deep, wasn't that great. That was that was not yeah. It not wasn't really not. but but you know there was a deep fake. Um, oh, of was deep fake well. in Rogue One. one. Yeah. You know when when um Jin Erso hands her the the plans for the Death Star. Oh, right yeah. again. Mm. I see, I see. Oh, yes. So let's get to the Easter eggs. We got them up. All right, let's have a look. So oh, we've so got there are Coruscant. only 14 Easter eggs. Okay. So it returns to Coruscant, the galactic capital. Everyone <laughs> everyone kind of knows Coruscant. <laughs> so that's where Leia lives, um, where she and the, lives with the Argana family. Um, yeah, after the planet blew up. Mm. Uh, there is Andula named up the Imperial Remnant. Mm. Yep, the whole Senator Zinia's frustration. The Imperial Remnant was the one as well from Mandalorian mm. and Book of Boba Fett. Yeah. The enemy mm. that they fought, but, and that other guy who the Mandalorian was always facing up against. Mm. The, the second place in timeline is finally fixed. So it says, let's see. Okay. Uh, so this was after Moff Gideon's defeat on Mandalore. Mm. So it's after season three of Mandalorian's ending. Mm. Mm. So that's where Ahsoka's series. Um, basically starts it's right after the end of season mm -hmm. three uh -huh. yeah because fans were like wondering like where did it fit was it like in current to the mandalorian or what mm -hmm. so it's really after know. it's actually after now we know it's after mm -hmm. an unexpected cameo from c3po <laughs> c3po yeah and I can made him. Um, yes, that's correct. And I can Skywalker <laughs> made him. <laughs> and it's yeah. still Anthony Daniels. It's always been the same. Oh, you mean the voice? Yeah. Yep. Um, oh, okay. The original voice of c 3 po Yeah. Interesting. He didn't always have all those uh, wires um, showing, did he? No. <laughs> oh, wait, it's you mean scary. this part? Kind of. But yeah. T used yeah. to be a lot more bare. Like in the episode one, he was like completely bare, nothing on him. So he What's was effectively bit? naked with wires <laughs> everywhere. Then he nothing. had the silver frame, and then now it's the gold frame, as we all kind of know. Yeah. Also, in the original trilogy, it was always a gold frame. Oh, yeah, gold frame. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's what people are familiar with, you know, the gold. Um... The gold yeah. Yep. yeah, I'm I'm familiar like now uh, with with him being gold all over. Yeah. And um um C three P basically being white and blue. C three P. That's um, uh, the, um you know the little robot. No two D two. Oh two D two, yeah. 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 All right. So next is Leia's role in the new republic is confirmed. This is Leia, yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. 
So, so she she's the leader, leader of the Defense Council. Oh, le leader of Defense Council. Where they had the meeting at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was what? Paris Saint Jules, their trial. Oh, the trial. She wasn't there, right? They no, there. she wasn't. They just named yeah. Doctor. That's it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I guess if General Thorne returns, it's gonna be he's gonna be up against Leia, basically. <laughs> you know, um, when it comes to um, you know, so, the, so Leia will, will come battle between Thrawn, who wants to bring back the Empire, and then mm. Leia, oh, who's yes. now the head of this new Republic. Mm. Um, so we'll probably see Leia in the next episodes, maybe, maybe or someone oh, that's, that's recast as Leia. She might yeah. have a cameo, or, <laughs> or and there could be another name drop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could um, be. But then, true. as we talked about from last week as well, it could be leading up to the Thrawn movie. Yeah, the Thrawn movie. And now yeah. as well, since there's only like one episode left, I didn't really see it like completely finishing the whole thing in yeah. one episode. No, there'll, there'll be, this is more of a build-up, to the Thrawn movie, and I think the Thrawn movie will have that, you know, confrontation basically mm, yeah. between the Republic and. Well, the... do we know the length of the last episode yet? Uh, I don't think that's revealed yet. Not yet, but yeah. it actually could be short. It could be a short one. Hard to tell. Tis histories of like wow. the finales of these shows have been like quite short. Yeah, that seems to be the trend. Yeah. Although you never know. <laughs> yeah. We don't know, but I didn't really see it ending in like a 30 to 40 minute episode. Mm -hmm. They could be completely wrong, but as well, we do know that the movie is on its way. So, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it's probably oh, okay. the, the, the to it. Yeah. If the movie's on the way, then they'll like cut it short somehow. Yep. And then we'll have to wait for the movie, which might be another year or so. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to oh, yeah. know. With, you know, because, the you know, hopefully the writer's strike is all going to be resolved soon. Oh, uh, the writer's strike. Close yeah. to that, because that's delayed a lot of projects, oh, you yeah. know, in terms of release dates and everything. So hopefully yeah, that's, that's going to be over. Strike, yeah. um, and then we've got Anakin, another oh, yeah. appearance. Of yeah, Anakin, in a, in a training video oh, yeah. <laughs> of all. <laughs> yep, the training videos. 20 holo bits for a second. And we oh. get to see one of them. Yeah. Yeah, that's a training there. Yeah. That face, though, doesn't really look exactly like. Is, is it really hands the guy, the actor? Or is... yeah. yeah. Oh, it's him. Okay. Yeah, you could okay. kind of tell ish, but it's not really too well done. <laughs> mm. Although I guess the fact that it is a hologram, you know, oh, yeah. and holograms are never really meant to be super clear. Um, nah. Oh, yeah, so sure. I think it's, yeah. really, um, yeah. and especially because it's oh, I think, yeah. an old holobit. I think they're like uh, trying to um, take, uh, like, um, keep it. Going back to the original uh, Princess Leia, um, in the first episode, that kind of um, uh, kind of uh, almost a romantic um, kind of hologram. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but overall, that facial reconstruction probably not the best. Uh, uh, facial. facial. But yeah, it's kind of cool seeing the Clone Wars attire. Yeah, Especially, again, especially the Republic yeah. insignia there. Oh, that's Clone Wars attire. What he's wearing, like you can sort of tell. Oh. Yeah. Like this is the Republic logo from the Clone Wars on oh. the side. You can see from um, the sleeve there. I see. Yeah. I see. But as well, like the overall look, if you look at it closely, it actually does kind of partially resemble Darth Vader as well. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it it was his like more armored up look for the Clone Wars. 
Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, at that time, you know, there the, instead of wearing the Jedi robes, it was turning more into armor. They were starting mm. to wear armor because of the Clone Wars. I see. I see. Yep. Mm -hmm. Vatican and Skywalker and references. And then you've got name more name drops <laughs> for Anakin, General Grievous, Count Dooku. Oh yeah, Saj yeah, Ventress. There you go. Yeah, Asajj Ventress is one that we kind of know in like the Clone Wars a lot more. We did we did hear about her at all in Rebels. No, and um, she's not in any of the movies. Um, she's not mentioned in any of the movies from episodes one to nine. Um, so, mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, unfortunately, not like we, she is in some of the Star Wars Legends. So maybe they're sort of hinting at, at the Sarge Ventress coming in at some point. Yeah. Maybe Cause... they'll reintroduce um in, in Ahsoka at some point. Maybe. Yeah, because the Sarge Ventress and Ahsoka were like kind of like rivals. The Sarge was kind of the bad one. But eventually she did have a bit of an arc where she did kind of yeah. <laughs> the whole Sith ruling as well. Oh, yeah. Considering that Dooku actually tried to kill her. Mm -hmm. And Ahsoka did go to Asajj being one of her helpers when on Coruscant when she was actually being trialed. Mm -hmm. Which kind of made Ahsoka lead the order. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so out of everything, the person that she could go up go to was Asajj Ventress. So mm -hmm. interesting mm -hmm. that they name dropped that character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean That's Anakin true. certainly knew about her. Um oh. yeah. But then again as well, Asajj isn't exactly evil now. Mm -hmm. Asajj, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Consider Asajj Ventress maybe like Ahsoka, but from the opposite direction. She started off as evil and then started becoming okay. Not too evil. Um, <laughs> she began to, to, to change. Um, yeah, interesting. See yeah. that character. Yeah, so yeah, a lot of people in the Clone Wars did actually like the Sarge Ventress's character. Because she even teamed up with Anik, I mean with Obi-Wan in, in an episode or two. Mm -hmm. Obi-Wan used one of her lightsabers because she has to, and then they were escaping something. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. They mentioned General Grievous, mm -hmm. yeah. which... We actually know a lot from the Clone Boys and not a lot from the actual movie. Mm. Like from the movie, it's like we find a new mechanical beast and then he's somehow a general and then he just dies quite quickly by everyone. He didn't really play much of a big part. Yeah, her but, his yeah. character isn't fleshed out that, that much at all in the movies. Yeah, um, definitely not. So it was kind of jarring to have him right in in episode three. They expanded yeah. his story in, in the Clone Wars. He did kill a lot of Jedi. Yeah. But then again, if you think of Hu Yang, he practically trained most of the Jedi. Yeah. So it was like, it became a funny meme as well. It's like <laughs> with General Grievous and Hu Yang's like I've killed many Jedi. So it's, I have I have taught all of the Jedi. Because <laughs> he actually makes the lightsabers and stuff. He taught yeah. all the kids how to build their own lightsabers. And yeah. and can train them as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like we saw Hu Yang in that pose with all of the hands as well, similar to like Grievous. Oh, he, oh, yeah. Yeah, mm. with, with the training. Oh, yeah. That, that was a funny one because he was mm -hmm. training with uh, Sab Sabine Ren. Mm. Count Dooku, of course, we saw his 
story mm-hmm. fleshed out a lot more. Mm-hmm. Sad. Bad thing is, was uh, Christopher Lee who played him? Mm-hmm. Passed away. So, yeah, of course, they weren't able to get the character back when they were doing the Star Wars expanded one, Star Wars Legends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He did make another appearance in Tales of the Jedi, though, because we got to see him with young um, Qui Gon. Yeah, um, but voiced by someone else. Yeah. I mean, we only got to see animated, <laughs> animated version yeah, of it. Of course. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Logan gives Ground Admiral Thrawn access to the Inquisitorial database. Yeah. Oh. So, so we the get... Inquisitors are maybe back. Oh, the Inquisitor. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because the Inquisitors were meant to be from the episode four to six. Mm-hmm. Right. So now afterwards, the Inquisitors were well, essentially in the timeline of how this is going. It the this should be after all of the Inquisitors now. Yeah. So now the Inquisitorial database might be be coming back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we'll have to see. Oh, so Merok could have been an uh, Inquisitor who had died, maybe. Maybe. Maybe that's how Morgan got hold of it, um, because she might she, she might have gotten close to some of the Inquisitors, perhaps. Mm. Yeah. Grand Admiral Thrawn reacts to the name Anakin Skywalker. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Legends... So you think Anakin Skywalker was the name Ad- Admiral Thrawn? Like, what was the anyone that he feared? He was surprised that Ahsoka was trained by him. Um, yeah. You know, oh, he yeah. was surprised when Morgan told him that. Yeah. Um, mm. yeah. yeah. So Grand Admiral Thrawn was one of the one of a few who knew Anakin Skywalker became Darth Vader. Hmm. Oh, he knew. And he apparently he was shocked to discover that he was up against Anakin's battle once. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay. She's mm-hmm. going to be dangerous and unpredictable <laughs> because he probably found Anakin to be the same. You know? Um <laughs> Yep, and so, the way that Ahsoka trained on the Anakin Skywalkers was because they were quite similar. Yeah, so he was thinking, mm, okay, she's going to be like him. <laughs> yep. Is, is, what, is what he's thinking. Mm. <laughs> Sabine believes the Empire was defeated at Endor. Mm. Oh. Mm. He's, she's probably thinking about, you know, that, you know, the episode. Mm-hmm. Um, six Return of the Jedi, yeah, oh, yeah. where you have the Battle of Endor. Um, Battle of Endor, yeah, because that's where Palpatine died. Yeah, oh, Endor. But then she had to say, like, allegedly or something. Mm. Mm. Endor survived in episode six, right? And oh, and what was Harrison Ford in Endor? No. Yeah, yeah. So Han yeah, he Solo was on Endor. Was there at the oh, battle yeah, the, yeah. They were in the. He, they were there. Ah, oh, yes. It was. It was in the forest, kind of. Yeah, that's Endor. Yeah. Oh, so that's with, Endor. The, with the Ewoks. Oh yeah, Ewoks. Yes, they were dancing yeah. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yep, so that was Endor. Episode six. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, they won. They won that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they won the war. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got that. Ah, I see. Yeah, uh, Sabine rebel reveals Zebra's training recruits. Uh, oh, yeah. This this was a scene in the Mandalorian. Yeah. So oh. that's yeah, that's somewhere. 
Yeah, this is kind of how we got the hit that the Aseka show is coming soon before it was finally announced. Is Zeb uh, part of Rebel's crew? Was in live action. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, we didn't see him at all in this series. We haven't He's seen meant... him in this series. Not yeah. yet. Anyway, we don't know. We, we, he could make him a cameo in the final episode. We never yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, he could make a cameo in the final episode or in the movie because this is meant to be like the Rebels follow up. And he was the part of the Rebels crew. Yeah, the Zosa says one character that was missing, the, the Lasat named Zeb. Yeah. Right, so this is dark side magic to track Ahsoka. Yeah, so we see that again, them using their magic. Um, to do that. So that's how they tracked them. The Dark Sisters. Yeah. Dark Sisters. Yeah. Ahsoka and Sabine share a Padawan bond. Hmm. It seems like I'm really lost in the world. Oh. So she could actually feel Ahsoka, like when Ahsoka was calling her. Hmm. Oh. I think, yeah, becoming to be a little more force sensitive. Hmm. Oh, yeah. But it doesn't seem like Sabine really knew what it was because she just said mm. she sensed something familiar. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> the silly trope. What? <laughs> the superhero landing. Uh, yeah. Like. The superhero landing done by like almost any hero you could think of. Yeah. That's Deadpool, is it? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's Deadpool. Like <laughs> because Deadpool was the one who like pointed out the whole superhero landing trips, like superhero landing. Oh. <laughs> Gonna do a superhero that's landing. Nice. <laughs> like, who doesn't like a good superhero landing? It's like what everyone wants to see. But you know, obviously, you know, the landing just goes wrong and, and she ends up tumbling <laughs> instead of land- landing properly. <laughs> yeah, but still it's a superhero landing. Yeah, it's it's kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah, superhero landing. <laughs> yeah, it's a really good touch for yeah. yeah, good job. Not bad. <laughs> so, yeah. So we get to our scores. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, Jeff. All right. Um, yeah, a lot of happening. Yeah, a lot of things happen in this one. Yeah, get moving along. Um, name drops and cameos as well. Uh, C three P O. The uh, um, yeah, I'll give it an eight. I think I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Room an eight. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Bill? Bill? Yeah. Um, well, hang on. I must still eat. Yep. Yep, you're there. <clears throat> it, uh, uh, I'm uh, in agreement uh, with uh, Jeff. I'll uh, give it a definite right. Uh, because uh, it was uh, really well uh, put together tonight. And, uh, yeah, the storyline just uh, carried consistently and uh, things were flying very well tonight. Mm. Cool. Mm. And I really enjoyed it. Mm. So this score was eight. There were eight as well. So, yeah. Uh, Amelia, do you want to add? Uh, yeah, similar. Uh, it was uh, a lot of wars, a lot of fighting. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I give it eight as well. 
Mm. <laughs> nice. Steph? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just I'll, give it, John, I'll, I'll give, it give it like 7.5. I did enjoy it. Um, but oh, I still yeah. very much, I mean, to me, the, the top episode is still the one with um the, in the world between the worlds. That's still <laughs> my favorite. Of the world between the worlds. Yeah. All the ones, yeah. Um, uh, that was last week, was it? Or the week before? No, no, the, no, week, the before. week before. Yeah. The week before. Uh, the week before. Yeah. To me, that was uh, the one I enjoyed the most. But I did really enjoy this as well. Um. Mm -hmm. Probably even a little bit more than last episode. So 7.5 because I really enjoyed the action in this one. And, you know, seeing everyone come together and reunited. Uh, that was great. And mm -hmm. and also just, you know, um, obviously we get to see more of Thorne, more of Ezra in this episode. Um, mm -hmm. And it's building up the action to the finale. So, yeah. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. it, it makes you anticipate the finale. Uh, mm. even more so yeah that's uh this is great uh yeah it's a great episode overall um yeah so 7.5 mm. for me yeah mm, very good. Very yeah good. yep i definitely enjoyed this episode as well it gave us everything we kind of wanted in an episode mm. Mm. so yeah we get the dog fights yeah. oh, yeah. space get battle the light <laughs> we get the lightsaber yeah. fights. We get the force uh, fights. We the get force. the ch the chase Chasing. scene. Chasing yeah. with the whales as well. Yeah. The whales, yeah. <laughs> the it, the yeah. chase scene on the ground before they get surrounded. Yes, that was quite good. <laughs> so overall, it's like oh, there's uh, what yeah. There's one thing that I really liked um, was uh, seeing. Um, um, how much uh, they were refueling the uh, the ship um, by now? Yeah, it's still a uh, share. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's like quite cool how we see everything that's transpired all in one episode. Super mm -hmm. solid. So I give it. Uh, Solid 7.5, I guess. Oh, yeah. well, that's pretty good for you, for you Jeff. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, but let's see what IGN gives us. Oh, so, yeah, let's, see. let's see. I haven't looked at it this yet, so let's see. Scroll down. How did they, how did they read it? Seven. Seven. Oh. Seven. Okay. A bit mm. lower. Mm. There's... Three lead characters are back in action for a fast-paced adventure. Mm. Yeah, it was kind of fast-paced. It was actually quite quick. Yeah. yeah it the, definitely has a lot of action in this one. Yeah, 36 minutes went by like so fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> kind of started and then it was kind of like over. But just too soon. Mm. Mm. It did it it did feel short, even though it says that it's you know forty something minutes. It, it felt like it flew by, <laughs> you know, because yeah, yeah. it just had so much going on. You know, um, you yeah. just didn't really notice the time until it was like, oh, that's the end of the episode already. <laughs> you know. Yeah. When when things are interesting, you don't really notice the time passing. It's like kind of interesting. It's like it it grips you in, and it's like. It grabs Time you. goes so fast. Mm. But then in a boring show, it's like it drags on forever. Yeah. It's like time slows down like so much because you want it to end. Mm. But yeah, this one just flew by. Mm. Solid. Yeah. And next week will be the finale. Oh. Yeah. Finale. Oh. Looking forward to that. Yes. I'm sure it'll be an interesting one as well. Yeah. Yep. And we'll also be Loki. Loki season two. And not Loki. Yeah. The first Loki. episode of Loki season two, only a few days away. Yeah. <laughs> it's so Loki going like to yeah. be one episode or two episodes? It's one, I think. Just one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, two episodes are usually reserved for like the new new shows. Oh, okay. This is mm -hmm. Loki season two, so I think it's just one. Just one. 
So we can watch both on the same day then, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I think next Saturday we'll just be doing both. Yeah, because it's only so, one each. Yeah. yeah, season finale of Ahsoka, and then season premiere of Loki. Oh, Loki, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Just... Looking forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I mean, just seeing the trailers, it looks so fun and interesting, you know. Just yeah, yeah. more more adventures in the timeline. Yeah. Yeah, and seeing yeah. Ki Huan in his part. I know. I was, I was like, wow, he's back. <laughs> yeah, he's back in another time traveling conundrum show. Yeah. <laughs> of course, they had to grab him because of everything everywhere all at once. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, I'm really happy to see, like, you know, this sort of career resurgence for him. Yeah. Yeah, he's from Indiana Jones, though. Yeah, from, yeah, mean, he was a kid. He was a kid. Yeah, I still remember him as the little kid in Temple yeah, of Doom. I remember that one too. Yep. He was only in the Temple of Doom, right? Not, not the other ones. Right? Yeah. No, it was just that no. one. Just, just the Temple one. of Doom. Yeah, second one. Yeah. But it's like he's been having a good old good streak. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> Seeing him also in like American board Chinese, he was like absolutely hilarious. Oh, that's another show. Yeah. Yeah, American board Chinese is another uh, Disney type show, Chinese one. Mm. Not in the Marvel universe, yeah. but it's, uh, but it's the. Uh, Disney's variation of the whole uh, Sun Wukong story or Journey to the West. If you know those old Chinese shows. Oh, those Chinese shows. Yep. All right. I see. I see.